Welcome to Fright Day, everybody. We're going to be continuing Call of Cthulhu today, so let's go back to the Sanders residence. Ugh. Hey. Let's see how many mods we can get in the chat today. See if we can get Mike Shake going in the chat. Oh. Check out the creator dashboard. Sorry, everyone. I am about an hour and a half late today. So we were talking with Sino. Hmm. There we go. All right, let's enter the madness. Ah, oh, the Shambler! Last time on Call of Cthulhu! <laughs> That's a little loud, I think. That's uh, fine. Can everyone in the chat hear me all right? What's the matter with you? You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. Huh. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Woo! Did I miss something more interesting? The painting was cursed. Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. Uh, we're I, doing a little bit of I think so stuff too. that I think we did in the last one, but this is fine. It's not only like a... a it's only a little... Uh, I ran, screamed, <laughs> broke a pane of glass. It is you Cthulhu time. And you didn't hear it's Fright Day. If I hadn't heard a thing, I'd still be in the other room. The door was blocked. I got Did in you get to see I the could. shambler, Sino? I to look after my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It's safe. All right, I life. need to turn this down a little bit. This is... This is, uh, almost painful. Alright, that's, uh, that's better. Sorry, everyone. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take that's it as a payment shame. for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Well, hope now everyone's having a good Friday. Seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Time to go to a bookstore. I think there's a puzzle in this part. I don't work tomorrow. Haha. <laughs> 
So, Sino, you talked about uh, maybe not playing ESO tonight, and we were maybe going to do Stardew Valley instead. Is that uh, is that going to happen, or are we doing ESO? Because I forgot to ask you earlier. So why not do it on in the middle of a cutscene that people probably don't want me to talk over? <laughs> Ooh, we already see Where's a thing. Where's the bookseller? All right, let's do some Stardew. Continue the Freud's journeys of Juice Box. Of dreams. It's the uh, work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. This fucking hack. All right. And yes, I know he's he's often attributed no as diary. like the the father of psychology and stuff. But he he wasn't necessarily good at it. <laughs> oh, that's that's just how that works though. Well, I think it'll be uh I think it'll be nice for us to ooh. A Puritan colony. Uh no wonder there's so much weirdness. Although it is Massachusetts, so... You know. No offense to anyone from Massachusetts. Or Portugal. Ooh! Medicine. I think I have some points to spend. I do! Look at all that medicine I got. Yeah, but you'll have to deal with me being like, no, we can't end yet. <laughs> Let's do some eloquence. scroll looks like it might be important. Like I've... Hmm. Well, it'll be fine. I think we'll be doing, what, like, probably two hours then? I got some more medicine. Holy shit. Telling me there's something I need to find. There it is. A strange amulet. Ooh. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. So I'm taking it? <laughs> oh, we'll see. Maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours. We'll see uh, how the days go. Well, you should finish cooking dinner early then. What happened here? Is it? Let's I will admit, I, uh, I listened Where to the audiobook for from? Call of Cthulhu, but I'll, I'll be honest, most of it Blood. ended Seems up like droning a little work. bit. Cosmic horror isn't a huge thing for me. Which story is it from? Ooh, this medicine. burglar seems to be rather clumsy. Yay. <sighs> yeah, I do feel like like there were some criticisms of this game, but I feel like this game is kind of a love letter to, like, the Cthulhu mythos. Or Cthulhu, or... To 
whom does this footprint belong? Or Chitulu. Oh, it kind of looks like a dog. I don't think I'm familiar with that one, though. I mean, it's possible. You know, I actually just watched a, a movie based on a Lovecraft story. It's called uh, Castle Freak. It's considered like the third in the Stuart Gordon H.P. Lovecraft series. HP Lovecraft, it always comes down to a beastie. Hmm. I'm missing something. thinking it's a book because like is it another globe puzzle I know we have fun with those but yeah I've decided to do fright day we'll, where we'll play a horror themed game every Friday I mean I know I often play a lot of horror themed games just in general on the channel God damn. Where? I just love the idea that the detective is just like, that Pierce is just like on his hands and knees looking around on the ground for something. Oh. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What killed Looks all bugs. these animals? Probably poison? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Well... Oh, God! <laughs> what the... Charles Hawkins? Hmm. Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Where did I see it? I what sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Ah! Oh. Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in the safe. Oh. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah. Yeah, Hawkins there's like case. a shit ton of Lovecraftian stuff in this game. I don't know what the Durlith Elder sign is. I think the the Elder Gods, that's a like thing in the game. Oh man, I have to find things. Ooh. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Sleeping pills? Yummy! Drawers! What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Did he? Again, I'm not super familiar. I'm... Lightly familiar. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination <laughs> of the safe.
I mean, nerds get upset about everything. That's just kind of nerd things, you know? Ah. Huh. Sorry, I'm kind of reading. Um, that makes it sound like they're, we have to find like some memoirs. So, uh, you know, I know I made it to chapter nine of this game, and this is like I think chapter seven or. S Holy shit! Look at all these books. Um, Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Azatoth. But uh, I still think my favorite one of the uh, stories is Reanimator. I thought that one was. Yeah, this bookstore is a giant, like, How many volumes shit are pile. This collection? This is like the this is like black books. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. Never heard of them. Okay, this is How many volumes are there in this collection? Isis unveiled. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. Never heard of him. Thanks, Pierce. How many volumes are there in this collection? So wait, hang on. Another volume by Arkham Editions. That's three. Arkham Editions. Never heard of him. Wait a minute. Wasn't the other one? Oh, wait. How many volumes are there in this that's collection? That's two. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Well, that's one. So one, two, three. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Seven. How huh. many volumes are there in this collection? Eight. Another volume by Arkham editions. That's six. Arkham editions. That's four. Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? That's nine. So we have at least nine? So look around. Here's some more. Maybe there's some more. Oh man. Ooh, a chessboard. Things are not looking good. Things are not looking good. Oh man, that's going to be important later, isn't it? Ooh. What kind of chalice. This game is awesome, isn't it, Mike? Everybody, Mike Shake is in the chat. I think Mike's being sarcastic. Things are not looking good. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have the best idea.
Hmm. Ooh. More medicine. Look at that, guys. Up in that medicine. We're at 48%. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Hmm. Oh. Hey, chat. Should I read the book or no? I have a feeling this will affect our destiny. Sino, what do you think? <laughs> hmm. I'm going to close my eyes and do this and then click on something randomly. What does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. Hey, that's the shambler. I guess we're reading the book. <laughs> Is the lag that bad? Here, let me check in my, uh, all right. Five, four, three. I'm getting about three seconds. Well, I got some occultism from it. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Oh, yeah. All right. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, we're going to do uh, uh, Stardew Valley tonight. <clears throat> ah, here we go. All right, uh, my thought is that each of this, there are three, uh, three knobs on the safe. Each of the cylinders is probably going to have a number or a clue, and we're going to have to figure them out and based on that. Drops, like precious stones lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Hmm. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, uh. and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. What's, what's wiser? Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham Editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Okay, so... Let's turn this off. There was something about protecting the White Queen. Oh, this is weird. There's not a White King on here. All right. Oh. The Chalice of Knowledge. There are red rubies on this. Okay. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, five. I bet the other one, the, the
the last one talked about uh, Azatoth. So these are the volumes that Drake... What did Drake say about this collection? So I'm going to say five something nine. <clears throat> But, what's the center one? It said something about... <clears throat> I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our Ooh. white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. I see our numbers dwindling. So maybe it's uh The Queen has little protection. Maybe it's the total number of white pieces, which would be four. Let's try that. So five. Alright, well, maybe it's the pieces other than the queen? Ah! <sighs> oh, should we read this book? <laughs> something weird with his arms in that scene. Maybe? That's probably not a good. Hmm. Oh, I'm probably going to ask Savannah if she wants to go to Taco Bell after after she gets home. Uh I'm really happy that the Taco Bell potatoes are apparently vegetarian now. That's pretty cool. Since I don't eat meat everyone in the chat. Oh my god, I'm back at the fucking institute. God damn. I mean, I always want Taco Bell, though. How could we have done this to ourselves? I don't remember if if Sino saw uh <laughs> Man. My relief check will probably at least partially go to fix my savings, since my last one went to replace all of the brakes on my car. Alright. Let's enter the madness. Again. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. God damn it. It says Dr. Fuller. It's his patient, after all. He... He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh... Of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. Oh. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. 
It was. I had to replace, like, the entire... Oh my god, am I not... Pierce right now? Dr. Fuller, please. No, don't. I huh. know what you fear, but this man is dying. Marie, I'm begging you. He'll hold me accountable if you bother him. Perhaps you could examine him yourself first. I'll do my best to assist. What in the hell? Did you inject him with a tranquilizer? No, doctor. Not me, not anyone. Hmm. Our stock is empty yet again. Again? But there was enough for the whole island. More and more people are suffering from insomnia. We can't you know, I think I remember this part of this game, of but I think I thought the it was from Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's undergone. Daughter. Very well. I'll examine him. That was a very, uh... Thirty-year-old subject. Hmm. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. Medicine. His skin shows abnormal loss of color. Wait a minute, is that me? Out. That can't be me. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender hmm. at the touch. Slightly sticky. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Huh. Doesn't Ooh, petechia. Like edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a Ah, <laughs> no, that guy has too much hair for me. <laughs> so, doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Did you examine his abdomen? It would <laughs> seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. I don't know, we said Can't it's not. Can't you recognize an edema? <laughs> Pushing with your finger won't... No, don't trace. you know anything? And look at these bumps. <laughs> It's not like he could be pregnant. Oh my god, he's pregnant with Whatever Cthulhu. Is, this man has something Woo! inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry. That the edema would go away by itself. Dr. Fuller you know, is in cahoots with the Cthulhu cult. I'm not sure Dr. Cult. Fuller is telling the truth. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified. Not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. Oh. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings hmm. growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. I don't have to do shit. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. <coughs> When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. My God. You won't believe me, but when we bathed him earlier, he seemed to feel better. Yes, like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't <laughs> explain his condition. <laughs> He's turning into a fish. He's mutating. This, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowden. May I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm, I'm doing. watching him. How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. <laughs> I don't appreciate your tone. Nor you're turning your him into fish peoples. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. 
provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade <laughs> drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? You're turning him into a monster. I've seen suction cups on his fingers, his falling <laughs> body temperature, his dehydration. <clears throat> Had I only read the report, you know what I would have concluded, Doctor. Do I? Tell me anyway. I the hope humans. he has fish eyes behind He's those sunglasses. He's no longer human. These are the attributes of an animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. My god. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man, and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their my discovery life, the world isn't of turning yet. people into cephalopods. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one my day... My true name is Herbert West. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. <coughs> was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's hmm. most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? I disapprove of Fuller's methods, but his treatments have saved more lives than I can count. Hmm. And Mr. Blake? You said yourself he was dying. I don't know what to think for now. What I'm sure of is that Fuller is hiding something from us. He's a and pregnant cephalopod. Quick, put him in the water. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. Hmm. Wait, I needed to look at. All right, we're gonna go get into Fuller's office. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again, and she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Boop. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Uh. Dr. Colden? Watch out for the water, Doctor. Well, maybe I can shut off the water and create a weird distraction. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Why did you say that like you were confused? Dr. Colden. I wonder if there's anything around here. <sighs> You'd think people would notice, like, a doctor just acting like a fucking snoop everywhere, huh? He 
to be like, you know, Dr. Colden's been acting weird lately. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. Hmm. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Uh Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I hmm. will tell him, nonetheless. Hmm. Looks like we'll have to kill her. I wonder if these are still going to count towards uh, my medicine. <laughs> Hmm. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. Elizabeth? You all right? Hi, Elizabeth. Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again. Giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Mm. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Hmm. So... The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. I must be correct, then. Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. Huh. <laughs> Apparently all the island is having sleeping issues, then. No wonder everyone's got sleeping pills all over the fucking place. Hmm. Dr. Colden? Doctor! Please! Uh, my chest! Oh. What's wrong with your chest? This fusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank mm -hmm. you. He's in your hands. My god, we're poisoning him with, with bananas. Oh. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Oh, God. Ah, oh, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. Hmm. It's the old whaling station. See? What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. Huh. And that's how you broke your back. Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Probably from the broken back. I'll just sleep a bit more. I mean, that'll probably help. Number one thing they recommend for broken bones is sleep and it off. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Hmm. By turning her into a cephalopod. Ooh. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Drawers. All right, that's enough of that.
Ooh. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Huh. So he's been doing inhalants? Another cool. insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. All right, so. It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I hey. want more for myself, but. Officer Bradley. Ethan. Marie, I. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? You need sleeping pills too, buddy? Tell me your symptoms. I have headaches. And I can't sleep. Oh, Do that's... Suffer from insomnia? That's pretty no. low symptoms for someone who's fucking dead. Look, I don't want you to laugh at me. Ethan, if you don't trust me, then who? I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you yeah. think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I mean he's turning people into out. squids, so Everyone maybe in water is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. Hmm. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Oh Take my god. <laughs> There's so me. many sleeping pills. We've run out of the sleeping pills. The cop guy explain him? Go? He's just uh cases will stop burdening her with work. I don't get why they have us waiting so Is everything all right, Ethan? Yeah, I just we are a hundred percent sure what late. the nightmares are right oh. now. We All just right. know that uh, we've been finding sleeping pills everywhere, and it, like a bunch of those people in the hospital were having. Uh, Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Now oh, you fucking asshole! So distract Donovan. Dr. Colden, we Cut need off you the water. In dormitory B. Do we? What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. Oh, I've I already exam. did this. I Deborah think. is looking after him, and the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. I don't. Well, See, we, we saw Fuller, the cop in die charge. in an earlier scene, and, uh, still waiting, but he's still alive. Leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. Oh. What state is he in now? You should go see for mm. yourself, Doctor. This man, Edward Pierce, his file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Wait a minute. Edward Pierce, isn't that me? Holy fuck. Okay, so we're going to be They said we we want to find that lady. Mrs. Sanders? Mrs. Sanders? Why did nobody tell me about her admission? Huh. Well, now what the fuck is wrong with him? Hmm. Hay fever. What's he doing here? It must be a hell of a hay fever. That must be Mike after he came back from uh, Florida. 
There's poor Mike. Yeah, that's that same cop. Oh my god, he's clipping through his clothes! Quick, do something! Just Mike at random different points in his life. Okay, I'm assuming it's that one, uh, that one guy's fiance. He was asking to see his fiance, right? says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. Oh, I think it is. I think everything's been in uh I think everything's been in chronological order. Oh, the boiler room. Oh, wait, I... The well, operating room is never accessible after an operation. Hmm. That's probably a good idea. Where did my fiancé go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Where did my fiancé go? I hope those nuts. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Work. Almost no patience here. It's a quiet little town. Days hmm. go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself, but That's also Block B. Gentlemen, may I help you? We're oh. waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. Oh. It's her. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. It's a She's goddamn recovered, miracle. But you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. All right. Now, where did I put that boiler room? Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. She is an old hag and a witch. We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. What? Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan Everyone on the fucking island is on Fuller. sleeping pills, and she refused it? <sighs> We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. <laughs> We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Why is the camera locked, like, on the... Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. Because... I... I know this is after the we've messed with the cult. doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Yeah, I know that uh, this is after the cult, but, like, he died when we went to the cult. And then he was alive afterwards. So... Huh. 
I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Hmm. I see. Hey, wasn't there an inventory place where, like, there was a lady who said we couldn't go in there? Maybe I'll find that. Is this it? The storage room? I don't know, he did get stabbed by a, I think, star spawn. Don't wanna be a monkey ranch. Wow, there's your DMCA. It's possible. We we just woke up in the asylum after uh after the cult and then he was all of a sudden alive, remember? Let's see if the monkey wrench will do the thing. Probably should close that. <laughs> I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Yeah, Elizabeth. I have little time for you, Doctor. Fine. You find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. I'll have to go talk to Elizabeth. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. <laughs> I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because hmm. I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Who's Norgos? And hold your tongue this time. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Hmm. Last. The missing files must be hidden here. Yes. Now we must do the thing. The Stendhal syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. That's a pretty decent movie. I want to say Dario Argento made that movie. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. <laughs> hmm. I've unlocked something. Oh, patient files. I was right. Secret files. I feel kind of guilty about that one, though. I was just messing around with that, and then it just unlocked itself. Conclusions. Session number 17. Hmm. Patient. Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she This calls finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? It goes without saying that these peculiar illusions are the price of the terms of her exception. Why 
does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? Huh. I feel like that should be a thing. Why is there a woman's shoe in there? Has he been murdering women and keeping their shoes? Why is Ethan on medication? Barbiturates or barbiturates. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Uh, James came. I'm right that Charles was keeping secrets from me. Hmm. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. Basement? I am prepared. Psychology. Hawkins, Fitzroy and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? that I had the presence of mind to set hmm. them all in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. What, corpses? Where's the dot? Where's the dot? Anyone seeing a circle dot? Because, uh... The only way we can get out of this. Until then, we're stuck. Is the connection? So that's Sarah Hawkins' shoe. I must go back to the basement. Gotta get into that basement. I should go another way. Basement? 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 Basement. Where are you? Wait a minute. I wonder if the basement was like that door with the... Like the bars over it. Y'all remember that, right? I don't think this is the place for smoking that. Where's the dot? Well, you know what they say, I am Brad Pitt.
Oh, I'm back in here. This isn't right. Anyone remember? This isn't right. Where in the fuck? Ah, maybe it's this way. Hey! Ding, 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 ding. Ah, uh, that, that's probably not good. Ah, uh, shit, I'm going in here, aren't I? Hey, Dr. Fuller, what's ah, up? now, that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. No! If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn <laughs> around. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. <laughs> Hmm. I don't think I have the strength for that. Take a minute that. to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh. <laughs> no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. Yay. What did it show you? Oh. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah oh. Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She oh, the Necronomicon was showing me that? She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Should have... I'm going to say yes. Let's, all let's right. get this guy's right. help. I oh. might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins mansion. Now Man. go. That thing's Rescue gonna fucking die. Thank you, Drake. Holy shit. Uh, chapter nine, we've caught up with my other game. You know, Mike, there was someone when I was in high school who swore up and down that I looked just like Tom Cruise. And when people were like, why do you think he looks like Tom Cruise? He was just like, because he's white. <laughs> yeah. That's a thing that happened to me in high school. He even entered me in like a look-alike contest that they were doing for like homecoming.
Yeah, I look nothing like Tom Cruise. <laughs> Alright, let's enter the madness. I pray that Colton no. is really here, and alive. I, I can't see it. Investigation. An old diary. <laughs> Maybe? It's been so long since I've seen that movie, though. Like, it's, it's been a well over 12 years, I think, since I've seen that movie. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. I wanted to see him about something. I don't know if you waited. Hmm. Best thing. You know how. Hey! Oh shit. Am I not allowed to be here? Oh god. Welp. It's gonna be another one of those missions, isn't it? <laughs> Enter the madness. Oh my god, let's skip this. I pray that Colden is really here. And alive. An old diary. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. I wanted to see him about something. Best thing. You know how he hates to be interrupted in the doctor's office. No! Uh, Holy no. shit! Uh, uh, my god. What, what is happening to me? What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. Um... This doesn't seem... Oh, shit. Am I caught in a fucking loop? I don't know if I like this. Oh man, and my my torches or my lantern is running out. Oh, well. Huh. Well, that's kind of nice that they they give my fuel back if I do that. Well, what the fuck am I doing? What happened? Uh, Something has changed, but what? Oh. Let's explore, little guys. With our pink lantern. Huh. It's like a black light in a hotel room in here. Probably not great. Probably 
not great. Oh. Let's close that door in case uh, something happens. Hmm. What? Must be. Aha! Wait. I don't think that was important. Damn it, what am I. What am I missing? Everybody, if you see something, say something. symbol oh my god and free me. Leviathan not a fan of that huh guess not Okay. Hmm. Well, there's something over there that I gotta get. But, can't get it yet. Yes. So that's a not work. Uh Can we go in there? Come on, dude. This is not the time for a panic attack. Very not time. Destiny, it is trapped. You.
Very not time, yes? Hmm. Oh, that's just, uh... Ah, yes, toilet. Hmm. Guys, I'm sorry, I have no clue what the fuck I'm doing right now. Oh no. Great, now Mr. Panic Attack's back. Son of a bitch. So, uh, let's not let that run out, I guess. not uh. all right remember if you see something say something hey Can I... No. Ah, fuck, I'm gonna die again. Well, oh, there we go. Ah, shit. Maybe I have to take this with me. Quick run down the hall. Look, a bucket of fingers. Yummy, yummy octopus fingers. Well, I thought so, but the glow path leads... The glow path was leading up there. Well, we'll see if it changes at all. I think. Hey. Hey, there we go. You are confronting powers that surpass you. All right. Well, we got a game to save. That's nice. I hate to end it 
around here without us uh, figuring everything out, but we're probably going to end soon, guys. We're probably going to end at about an hour 30. Fuck, 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 gotta find the lantern lights. Let's check stuff out a little bit with the, the purple lantern again. Fuck, what the hell? Are we back here? Oh, wait. We're good. It's okay, guys. We're good. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm really not a fan of this part of this game. Hmm. I mean, it's it's kind of cool, like in theory. But I kind of wish there were more lanterns around, you know? Oh shit, so don't follow it that way. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Alright, found another one. Yeah, that was root of the game. It looks like things are back to normal. Holy shit. Oh, that was a good jump scare there, huh? You know what? We're at an hour and 30. Yeah, it might not have been necessary, but... Eh. Anyway, we're at an hour and 30. I've been Johnny Juicebox from Psycho Juicebox. You can follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and you should check out our YouTube channel, which is Psycho Juicebox. 
Yeah, it auto saves. It only auto saves, I should say. You, I don't think you can man manually save. No, you can't manually save. Yeah, check out our YouTube where you can watch B views and uh, you can watch our back catalog of the of a uh, Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, we do. We have a lot of good stuff on YouTube, and we've got a lot of cool stuff coming, like a lot of stuff planned. So it's gonna be awesome. Just, just you wait. <laughs> All right. Well. This has been Call of Cthulhu, and goodbye, everybody. Have a wonderful day.